Hi everyone. I'm sorry it's taken so long, but over the past year I've just had so much on my plate that my potatoes have just taken a back step. I've done hardly anything with them, so I've just watered them basically. But today I'll show you some seedlings that I did put in this year. Um, we'll have a look and see if uh, any of them are worth keeping. Honestly, I've only got six tubs and two or three seedlings in each, so the chance of getting a good one out of these is pretty low. But um, why don't we have a look anyway? Right here. So we'll have a look anyway and see if there's anything worth uh, keeping in amongst these ones. I might um, show you some of the ones that I ignored over the past year in the next video. Honestly, I put them in I did uh, in the same soil. I didn't add any more soil. They got no fertilizer or anything. So it's a good um, way to show you just how hungry potatoes are and how badly they grow if you don't give them enough nutrients. So that'll be a good um, demonstration for the next video. So let's get into it, shall we? Right now, here's, let me get the first one. Oh, I'll just, oh, I'm getting too old for lifting, uh, lifting these pots. Anyway, let's see what we got in this one here. Okay. Oh, we've got one that seems to be quite similar to another one, my favourite one. Although, as you can see, it's sprouting already. So it's a, no, a low or no dormancy one, which really is probably not a good idea to keep. And since I've got another one similar to this, it's probably no use keeping it anyway because the other one is, is a, has good dormancy. So, the one I'm talking about is purple with white eyes, white patches. And you can see the, the shoots. The second one in this, this um, pot is another purple one, just starting to shoot now. now. It has got a bit of white on this one here. Now, since, since these are only just new, um, new seedlings, the tubers are a bit small. They don't produce quite as well as they do when you grow them from um, from tubers rather than seeds for the first year. Okay, this purple one, let's see what it looks like inside. I'll just get my secateurs. Cut it. Okay, so this one's white inside. Oh, can you see? Yep. So that one's white inside, and this 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 one with the white with, with the white patches. It's white. I'm not sure if you can see it on camera, but it's got some little purple flecks in it. Okay, so that's that's that one. I don't know yet, I might put them back in the same tub and just see how they'll go over the summer. But um, yeah, neither of these is spectacular and they don't have a very good dormancy. So I'll just put this away and then get the next tub. Rightio, tub number two. Let's see we've, what we've got in this one. Now for anyone, because I always get um, questions about why I um, I harvest them when there's still some green leaves on them. My potatoes are all old varieties that you find in Peru and that they, they haven't been bred to have um, long dormancies. So if you don't harvest them, so you have to harvest them a little bit early, otherwise, uh, like in the last tub, 
um, the tubers can start uh, growing, start shooting. But uh, this one here has died down. Mo they were mostly died down. Oh, okay. Rightio. So these are all, these have really long stolons which which I don't like because they're an absolute pain in the garden that you just your potatoes just spread everywhere but you can see these all grew on the side of the pot so they're all squashed because they were squashed between the soil and the side of the pot they're all got a flat side but they don't look too bad they're another purple one. Oh, and there's a red one in there Oh, must have been three in this pot because there's also a round purple one with yellow and that'll have yellow flesh as well so I'm quite happy to have another one of those but these purple ones are all through the mix here which would be good if they didn't have such long stolons that's something that it can just turn into a nightmare in your garden if, you, if your potatoes just spread through all your other all your other um, garden beds. This lumpy one it's got a lot of small tubers on it on the roots here and a couple of larger ones just starting to shoot again. I just left these just a bit long. I'll show you them in a sec when I finish doing this. got nice compact root system that one so I'm not unhappy with it although I'd really like the tubers to be a bit different but it is just a seedling all the purple ones through here. Now another problem I had too is um, when, when these were only about 30 centimetres or so tall we had a frost. The only frost this uh, spring which was really unusual because usually we get lots of spring frosts but it cut them down and so they had to re-sprout again which really cut back their growing time. I think that's the one with the long, yep, with the long stolons. Let's see. Here we are, some more. And there's a couple of burnt tubers in here as well. They got burnt on a really hot day a few days ago. The, the black pots, although they're great for growing in, they do heat up on, on days over sort of 35 or more degrees. Okay, right, so let's see what we've got. In the purple ones, let's smooth this out. This purple one seemed to have produced pretty well, even though this was the one with the long stolons, which I don't like. It might be worth going ahead for another year. And then there was this one, this round lumpy one, purple with the yellow eyes. Not great, but... And then there's this tiny one here with the little red tubers. I don't like tubers that that sort of have um, that re re. Oh, how would you say that? Produce their own stolons and then potatoes on the ends of those because that so that can go. That, that, that um, purple one is pretty good for a seedling.
okay, so I might give that one another go. Maybe it'll be better growing in pots rather than out in the garden anyway. If that's the case, um, having long stolons probably isn't as bad of a problem. And this one here I might give a go too because I like, I like potatoes with yellow flesh. They're tasty and they cook well. They're usually quite, yeah, see, very yellow. And this purple one inside is open on the fence there. Oh, it's white with purple in the middle. Yeah, I'll give both those another go. Okay, let's get rid of these. Okay, tub number three. I can already see that this one is a problem because it's having the tubers, are, the young tubers are already sprouting. I can see that there, they're coming up through the pot here. Although that looks like a reasonable size one. We'll tip them out and see how they are. Okay. Oh, another one with long, long stolons that are making their own stolons. Don't like the look of that. Okay, what have we got? Oh, there's a nice big long lumpy one. I don't have many of that kind, but as you can see, they're just, um, they're sprouting. Got no dormancy. But at least they produce their tubers close to the stem, which is always handy for, for, um, uh, for harvesting. Just put them in one of these old pots here. The second one over here is very similar, but it hasn't produced more, it's barely produced anything. So that one's definitely not a keeper. Yeah, look, shoots all over the place. Maybe I'll give it a taste test tonight for, and see if it's worth keeping just for the flavour. But I mean, I do, I have, I do know people in tropical areas that like potatoes that don't have a have a dormancy period because they can grow them all year round. Just dig and sell, dig and eat, and and the potatoes just keep growing all year round. So, but that, that really just doesn't work down here. Yep, looks like that's it. So, um, yeah, that'll probably go. Okay. Tub number four. Only two more to go after this one. Let's see what we've got in here. Oh. Okay. I cannot go into the garden. Right. Uh, nothing on this one. Just tiny little tubers. Not worth anything. go. I think that might have come off the same plant. Shooting again. I'm not really impressed with that. What about this other one here? Okay. Oh, 
another light purple one here. Generally these light purples don't taste very good. And that's not very impressive. Yep, just two small tubers. That can go. Not good enough to keep. That's all right. That that lets me use the tub for something else. Okay, let me get rid of this. Right, here's number five. Looks like there's three seedlings in this one. One's got a little red tuber I see from the one at the top here. see red tubers on this one here also got long stolons again just hold on a sec get a pot to put these in not impressive so far lots of small tubers keep these separate, these the three that are in here. Oh, this one has spread itself around the pot. Okay, so this oh, this one this second one here it's got a couple of little white tubers but nothing. Not And the third one is also not impressive, but I always like a little bit of novelty. And these are these are white with with purple eyes. They are shooting, as you can see there. Um, let's have a look inside. They're white again. I need another couple with purple eyes, so I might give that one more go. It might do better next time. Ne never know. They're not too bad, I suppose, for a seedling. Oh, must have been... Oh no, it's that, that same one. I would have preferred it had yellow flesh rather than white, but... But it, it has produced quite a few tubers, so we'll see. I'll, I'll give it another go, see what it does with a bit more care. So here, here's the red ones. That's really not worth keeping. And here's this one that, that I might try again with the purple eyes. So it produced a nice amount of tubers, they're just not big. So in its second season it might do a bit better. Although we're coming into summer now and potatoes really don't do well in the heat of summer, but we'll see. Always like potatoes that will do well in summer. And you never know when you're going to get one of those. Okay. Righto, last tub. Definitely not getting the good, um, good ones that I got last time with the last lot of seedlings a year ago that I grew, but that's the name of the game. It's always... It's always a chance, luck of the draw sort of thing. Oops. The soil in these is a bit heavy. 
I get my compost in by the truckload and this lot had a lot more sand in it than I like which made everything quite heavy. I mix, I mix my, um, the mix I use for the potatoes is half compost, half potting mix. Okay, so we've got a white one here. You can see the, the tubers here all stuck around the outside of the soil. And there's a red one. Hold on, I'll just... got a bucket here. I'll just put these in the bucket. This one's, as oh, as you can see, it's another one with really long stolons, so I probably won't be keeping it, especially since the tubers are so small. And I see there's also a red one on the other side there. They got burnt by the heat the other day. All oh, these little white ones are all hidden around where, because the roots have just gone around the pot. see how the sun has burnt some of these um, especially when they're on the side of the pot where the sun's been beating on the side of the pots but yeah not keeping this white one the, the stolons and the fact that they're so small um, just means that they're just not worth trying again <laughs> don't know about these these red ones you can see they're shooting see once we get them all out. So that's it. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry it wasn't a very spectacular harvest today but that's how it goes. It's all interesting anyway and it's a load of fun when you don't know what you're going to get. So um, yeah, thank you again and I'll try and put up another video soon showing you what happened to the rest of my potatoes after not being looked after. Okay, so see you later.